Hey guys, I'm Chris. Welcome to Show Me the Hogs. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to tie the whip finish knot by hand without the use of a whip finish tool. Mastering the whip finish knot is extremely critical in making sure that your flies hold together correctly and something that I struggled with when I first started tying flies. The best way i found to begin mastering this knot is performing it with a rope or a cord over a pipe or rod numerous times by hand, helping me visually understand how the knot comes together. So I'm going to show you how to do this with a rope and again with actual fly tying thread. So let's get to it. First, I'm going to wrap the cord around the pipe as if I'm laying a base of thread on a hook shank. Now if this were a real fly, I would be holding the bobbin in my left hand, keeping the line taut. With my right hand, I'm going to place my thumb and index finger on the rope with my index on top and thumb on bottom. Now I'm going to place the rope in my left hand against the pipe and rotate my right hand like so to where now my thumb is on top and the index finger is on bottom, causing the rope to form a triangular shape. Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate that again from a slightly different camera angle. I'm going to do the exact same motion I just did, moving up into that triangular position to begin making wraps. And what you're going to notice is there's a section of rope that's perpendicular to the pipe and a section that's parallel to the pipe. As I begin making wraps, you're going to notice that perpendicular section is being wrapped around the parallel section. I'm going to make about four or five wraps. That's what I normally do on flies. And once I've done that, I'm going to pinch with my right hand, pull with my left, and complete the knot. At this point, if this was a real fly, I would clip my line, apply head cement, and the fly would be complete. But before you guys turn off this video, I've got a couple more tips for you, and I'm going to show you how to do this with actual fly tying thread. Tip number one, especially for you noobs out there, practice, practice, practice. I did this routine with a pipe and rope about a thousand times. Then I upgraded to what I'm doing right here with just a hook and thread. By the end of it, the whip finish knot was second nature for me. Tip number two, at the end of your knot, don't clip the thread extremely close to the knot. Leave a little bit of a tag end. If you clip it too close, the knot could come undone and the fly will be ruined. Well, if you guys enjoyed this video, we'd really appreciate it if you consider subscribing. Check out some of the other fly tying and knot tying videos on our channel. We also have a bunch of fly fishing videos on our channel you might enjoy. And we'll see you in the next video, guys. Thanks for watching.